Hey guys, how's it going? Dion here today. I got an interesting video because we're taking a look at a case and I usually don't take a look at cases way after a phone releases, but uh, this is an exception because I thought this was a really cool case to share about. Now this is the snap case for the iPhone 11 Pro here and it is basically a photo case that gives you a better grip and it also gives you a shutter button. So we're gonna take a look at this and check this out. I do wanna thank the folks over at BitPlay for sending this little care package out to check out and uh, test out because this is kinda cool. I've been recently getting into like iPhone photography and like filters on there and seeing what you can do with the iPhone 11 Pro because that camera is really amazing. But uh, here we have the case itself of course and uh, nothing really much comes in the package. You get the case, you get a user manual and then you get a little wrist strap that you can connect to the case which is really nice so it goes right there in the bottom right hand corner. So that's what you're gonna get in the box with the snap case and uh, one of my favorite things here is the fact that you can actually remove these plates so you can just snap this right off and change the backing for a different color. So for example, here we have the black one and uh, you can just swap it out and they have a couple of different colors on there. So that's kind of neat. But the most interesting part here is that it adds a shutter button. So if we take a closer look at the case here, you can see in the top right, there is a little shutter button. So you can hold the phone like this and click that to take a picture. Now, unlike Apple's iPhone 11 Pro battery case, which uses the lightning port to you know, allow you to click on that shutter and take a picture. This allows you to use this without connecting it to your phone or Bluetooth or anything like that because it has some weird like thing throughout the backing of the case that when you press this, it clicks on the iPhone's actual volume button which triggers your camera, which is a very interesting way to do it. So let's just go ahead and put our phone in here. We'll unlock it, we'll go to the camera and uh, basically you can see now you got a shutter button with really nice clicks, so you can kind of hear the click right there. We can tap and hold, now we're recording. And this is kind of awesome because since the camera is in the top left, I never, ever, ever, ever use the shutter button to take a picture because I never position the camera at the bottom. So I never have it like this and take a picture like this. It's just inconvenient and it just doesn't work as good. So I always hold it like this and then end up using that button here. So if you're taking a selfie, for example, you could just hold it out like this and you know, tap the actual interface on there or you can hold it out like that and more easily just click that button up top, which is just a little bit easier. And it's not a hard button press, it's a very, not, not soft, but just kind of the right amount where you don't have to shake the phone too much to click it. And it's nice that you get that grip to be able to hold the phone the whole time and uh, not have it shake or anything. Like you might, you know, have to hold it like this for a selfie, which is always a little awkward. So this is maybe even a little bit better. But of course, it's all based on preference for me. I was kind of out there looking to see what cases were on the market. And there's not many, and this is probably the most ingenious way to go about it, just because it works so well. So I, again, you can see that there, it's just right there. It's barely noticeable. It's not a case that I would keep on all the time because I usually keep my phone without a case. However, if I'm going out for the weekend, hiking or something like that, and you wanna take pictures, I think this is a great case because it not only protects your phone because it's a little bit rugged, makes it look really cool and it gives you that shutter button right there for your phone. Of course, you still have your volume buttons, your lock buttons, all that right here and uh, it doesn't obtrude anything. All the buttons feel great. This is actually a very solid case when we look at it just from a case perspective. Everything feels really great and sturdy. All the buttons just click nicely. You can reach the ringer switch with digging your nail just a tiny bit, not as much as some other rugged cases. So uh, it's not too hard, but you do gotta get your finger in there. And uh, there you go. You can also actually mount lenses back here. So it has the ability to screw on third party lenses or the lenses that they sell themselves, which is also kind of cool if you're into that. However, for me, that kind of died when the iPhone 11 Pro came out with three lenses, which uh, I just don't, I wouldn't ever use any screw on lens, but to show you, I do have one. All right, so I found the lens here and we're gonna go ahead and put it on. You just screw it onto whatever lens you want. Uh, right there, I didn't screw it properly, but you get the gist of it. It looks really, really super cool. And this basically would allow you to do wide angle on the main lens, which is the best quality lens out of the three. And just the overall grip when you're holding the phone, that little rubber on the side is very, very grippy. So you don't feel like you're gonna drop it or anything. So you feel like you got an actual camera here. 
Now, ha ha ha, I was thinking about grips and talking about grips and I had forgotten to mention one thing. Let's go back in here because I was like, there is another, yes, there we go. I was like, I had seen the photos that there's another grip in the back, but I'm like, it's not here. So basically it comes with this little removable grip and you can attach it and detach it and put it wherever you want. So let's go ahead and try this out to see how this works. Hopefully I don't mess it up. Let's see here. Should go something like that. And let's see here. I don't know. I'm trying to let's let's imagine I'm holding. I don't want to mess this up. Right. I'm gonna put it right here. Right there. Let's see. Oh. Oh, too far. Too far. Too far. Nope, too high up, too high up. It's nice that it's quickly removable. Too much in the corner, not enough in the corner. All right, so there we go. I think I finally got it, so I can just grab it like this, grab it like that, and uh, I kind of have just, you know, optimal shooting position right there. And uh, yeah, feels good. I don't think I personally need this back one. However, I feel like if you have smaller hands or something, that might come in handy. But uh, it does stabilize the phone quite a bit. It makes it easier to hold the device and uh, you know, makes it look really, really cool and uh, a lot more like a camera. Uh, so I don't know what I titled this video, but I probably titled it something like, uh, turn your iPhone to a camera or something just to please YouTube's algorithm or something like that. It might've failed and backfired on me and gotten no views, but I guess we will see. So uh, yeah, it works really well. This is the case and uh, Really cool case to check out if you have any inkling of shooting on your iPhone, which at this point is an incredible point and shoot camera. I basically shoot everything with this now. And sometimes it is impressive the results you can get out of these cameras, especially when you edit it properly and something like Lightroom or even iOS's new built-in suite of editing tools. That changes quite a bit to pretty much improve the photo significantly after you take it. So yes, this is the BitPlay snap case and uh, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this whole new setup and everything that I got going on works good, looks good. Uh, you know, it's mostly also a test here with the two camera angles and checking that out. So hopefully it all worked out really well. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.